Welcome to Pat's Picks. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for coming by. Uh, please like and subscribe if you're new here and if you're a returning viewer. I appreciate you so much. All 15 of you subs are freaking awesome. So anyways, we're going to have a crazy volatile crazy we're going to have crazy volatility. Can't speak. In the market today is what I expect with the CPI information coming out at 5:30 Pacific Standard Time. Um, this video is being filmed at 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, so I'm hoping to release it around 3 in the morning. But uh, I just released that CPI video, so if you don't know what that is, please check it out. Cards up up top, and I try to keep it quick and simple. If you have questions or um, you have input, hey, I appreciate anything. So. Um, go ahead and check that out if you don't know what CPI is or what to expect or why the market is going to be so crazy today. That will help explain that. Um, but anyways, today I'm going to go over my watch list. But first, let's start with futures market. Let's get into it. I forgot to mention I'll be going over SPY, AMD, Apple, and AMC in that order. So if you came for one of those specific specific stocks, please skip through. No hard feelings. Thanks. So right now, I don't see too much crazy action going on. The S&P 500 is at 3,828. Um, just a 0.2% change, so not much going on. It's, it's basically sitting back, sitting on its hands, waiting for that information to come out like most people were today. Um, the, with one exception of the, the leak that came out, there was rumors of it coming in very high. So at the end of the day, the market did tank. So let's move on from the futures and go over this quick analysis and cover them key levels. Don't want to go into too much detail here. So if you have questions, please leave them below and I will get to them. This is the 15 minute chart on the SPY. And what I expect tomorrow is either a break over 382 or a break below 379.69, um, leaning bearish. So if we get that break below 379.69, I'm um, targeting 378 and more aggressively 372, which it could happen. Um, if you look back on the daily chart here, I'll give you just a little bit of an idea of what happened last time we got these CPI numbers. It was June 10th. 10th this day right here um, huge gap down so actually if you look at the four hour chart you get a better idea of what went on behind the scenes so yeah um, that information came out this morning right here we had that huge gap down and then continued sell off for the day so if it comes in high comes in over 8.8 .8 or so I do expect that to happen um, if it comes in low, hey, we could get a rally, maybe retest 390 again, but we will see. Play the play the cards that we are dealt. So um, I'm not a fortune teller, not a financial advisor. I am a father, but not your father. Well, unless you're my kid watching this in many years. In that case, yes, I am your father. But I digress. So I am looking for that break over 382, break below 379.69. And from there, um, I expect a small bounce around 378. If we get continued sell-off and aggressive sell-off, we could see that retest at 372. And that is the way the cookie crumbles. So, that's the SPY. On to the next. One of my other favorites, AMD. Oh. Hey, oh. AMD. That's apron. AMD. D for the fifth time what I'm looking at for AMD I'm looking for a break over 7670 or break below 7580 um, if we get that break below 7580 I'm looking for 74 72 and if we get that break upwards which I'm not anticipating but it could happen um, I'm looking for that retest of $77 and then I would expect some resistance law resistance around there in that general zone so we'll see how that plays out there was a few analysts that downgraded AMD um, from I believe 150 to 130 and 130 to 120 so still it's far from those numbers 
Um, so it doesn't affect it much considering we're well below the targets. But just so you know, that's kind of what's going on with AMD. Um, and that probably has a lot to do with just sales slowing down with computers and gaming and whatnot. So, um, which also goes hand in hand with inflation because the price has probably gone up and people are spending all their money on food and gas. So anyways, CPI day, baby. Um, on to the next. AAPL, Apple a day, keeps the job, ad keeps the job away. There you go. Trading Apple every day keeps the job away if you do it right. So I'm looking for a break over 147.50 or a break below 145.30. Um, if we get that break below, I'm looking for targeting uh, 143.50 and 141.50. Um, Apple likes to bounce off those 50 cent marks a lot of the time. So those are levels I'm looking for. If we have bullish continuation and momentum, as you can see here, we are on a crazy uptrend with Apple for about a week. And we broke out of that. Clearly broke out of it yesterday and then attempted to get back into it today. Um, and then that, that fake news was released. Or real news, I don't know. I don't think it was verified, so I don't know if that's fake or not. So the unverified data came out, market crashed, and Apple came down with it. Um... The apple doesn't fall far from the spy, if you will. And that's what I'm looking at with Apple. If it, if we do get that continuation, or good news, I should say, uh, retest 148, 150. Somewhere in that general area. Last but not least, AMC. One of my all-time favorite stocks. Made me very proud today. I'm like a proud father with this thing. Um, so I'm looking for a break over 1580 or break below 15. Um, if we get that continuation, looking for a 16, 65, and 18 to be pretty significant levels. If you look back here, you can see what I'm talking about. Break over 16, 65. If you go back further, um, I would expect a little resistance to begin around 18. But hopefully we can just keep ripping like we did these few days when it ran to 30. Um, just back in... Was that March? It's not long ago. So that's what I'm looking at with AMC. Uh, I do know it's been very bullish flow, and it's going to be hard for it to run against the market if there is bad news. But it wouldn't be the first time. So uh, if you came here for AMC and you love it, don't don't be uh, completely uh, what's the word disappointed if there's negative news because that doesn't necessarily mean that AMC can't go up. Um, it just means it will be harder for it to go up, but that's just the way it is. So hopefully we can get a continuation and squeeze, baby. Come on, let's get all time highs. So that's what I'm looking at for AMC. I'm not going to drag this out. And, uh, that's what I got. Spy, AMD, Apple, AMC, and I hope you stay happy and healthy. See you next time.